This is going to be a review of the Sinu Pulse Elite. It is a nasal irrigation system. And mostly what you use these for is for allergies, you take a salt water solution, which you can make yourself or you can buy at the store. And through, you mix it with water and with a neti pot or a pressurized unit like this, it will pressurize and pulsate the water and shoot it out of your out of the unit into your nostrils and the idea is that it goes in one side of the nose and outside the other that way the liquid can go through the nasal cavity and remove the uh, the particles that are in there the allergy things that are uh, irritating you it can make the hairs inside the nostrils it can clean them up get all that junk off of them and make them work the right way I'm going to call them Harris. There's a technical name for it, but we'll just call it Harris. So what I've been using is the Grossman unit that I've had for maybe 10 years. These things really aren't supposed to last a long time, but this unit has really paid for itself. You fill the water and the solution up in there. You turn the thing on. You press the switch. This is an on-off to uh, control the liquid coming through. And then you've got a dial over here to control the pressure, the pulsing. It's mainly controlling how much pressure, how much how, how much force comes out of this piece over here. Uh, it's done very well for me. I've gotten my money's worth. Sometimes the salt water solution uh, jams the unit up and I have to keep on pressing the button on and off or flushing it out to get it to start up again. So I decided to buy a newer model and a different brand and test it out. And that is what I got here from Health Solutions. Two pulsating spray modes. Uh, so I want to try it out and I'm going to do a review on this thing now and I'll let you know how it works, if it uh, is equivalent to the Grossman unit or if I think it's better. And let me unbox this thing right now. What does it say on the top? Uh, it includes the irrigator, the flex sinus tip, the sign you miss tip, the standard throat tip, and tongue cleaner. I don't know how that's going to work, but uh, throat mist tip and tongue cleaner, sinus survival health tips by doctor by some doctor. So let me take all this stuff out of the box. I did the unboxing. What we have in there it comes with some uh, salt packets. Again, you can make your own. Uh, if you're going to do it, use the the uh, kosher salt which doesn't have any impurities in it and water they say that you're supposed to boil the water uh, to avoid infection my water is clean over here I've never had a problem and so I don't boil it I just take the kosher salt and I mix it with uh, baking soda to buffer some of the burning of the salt and then I pour it into my Grossman unit and uh, you've got to have the measurements right. If you don't have it right, that salt is going to burn really bad. And then you're going to have to put more baking soda in there. So this is a cover. I guess you can lift that up so you can put salt in there. I probably will not use that. I'll just keep that on top. Um, comes with your attachments. That looks like the nasal attachment that was on the Grossman unit. And then you've got some others for, there's the tongue, to, tongue cleaner and whatever else those things are. Here is some mounting hardware, some plastic anchors and two screws. You have the power cord over here. You get this uh, handle. I'm not sure how, how long this hose is going to last. Maybe it will last a long time. Maybe it will break off. It's hard to say. Uh, We've got the water holder, and we have the on-off button, and the pulsing switch, and I'm assuming a little light is over there when the unit's on. And then you have your button, I believe that would be to release the, uh, well one of them is probably to release the handle which looks like that, and this might be to pause the sprain. So let me test it out now. 
Again, I've used the Grossman unit for over 10 years. I'm going to know right away how this thing feels and if it seems like it is working. And I will be able to give you a really honest review. If these help you, uh, do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like, or go to my channel page. Click on the support button if you want to to uh, help out. And let me go uh, clean this unit up now. Put some salt water solution in there and turn it on. Before I test out the new unit, I'm going to show you what the spray is on the Grossman unit, Grossman unit, whatever that name is. Um, and I have absolutely nothing bad to say about this uh, product. This has lasted me for 10 to 15 years. I've been very happy with it. Let me show you what the output is. It's not too noisy, but it does make some noise. This is the on-off control. Uh, and so it just shoots out water. That's the low, lowest setting. And then, no, that's the lowest setting. It's almost off. And then, that's the highest setting, which I can handle. It's way too much. But it shoots the salt water solution up the nostrils. And you have to learn how to control your breathing and hold your breath. The best thing you can do is tilt your head all the way down so your nose is facing the sink and the top of your head is facing the wall. You don't want to go too much further in that direction because water can go into your eardrums or into the ear area and cause an infection. So that's the Grossman unit. And now I'm going to connect the new unit. This is the irrigation tip that they call the blue tip. And there's that orange button behind that I was talking about. You might have to push that uh, in to get this to lock in place. And it's locked in place. So what I'm going to do now is fill this up with some water. And we'll see what the uh, spray looks like. Again, what I said before, this is the on-off button. The LED over here will come on when it's on. And you have standard mist, or what do we have? We have two different mist readings over here. And that depends on the attachment that you're using. If you use a different attachment, the opening is not as wide. You're not going to get as much liquid coming out, so you're not going to have as much pressure. And it's not going to uh, be doing the same thing as a larger opening. I'm already uh, getting this whole thing tangled up, so I'm not thrilled with the uh, with the tubing thing over here. So you fill the thing up with water, or if you already have it mounted on there, just make sure that you don't uh, crush this piece of plastic tubing underneath the water holder. And now what I'm going to do is turn the unit on. Yep, the switch has to snap in. I have it on a low pressure. I'm going to go to a... I don't know what this button over here is supposed to do. It stops it. So the button does stop it, which you need to do when you're doing the irrigation. Or else you will uh, choke. I don't really see a pulsing, but they do say that it's a pulsing unit when the water is shooting up the nostrils. So I'm going to put the salt in here and I'm going to come back and let you know what I think of this thing. I'm not sure if this is going to show up on the video, but I'm going to try to irrigate right now. Turn it down to the lowest setting to see how it is. <coughs> okay. You can see water is coming out. I think, I don't know if it's showing on the video. It's a lot smoother than the gross unit. The water is just pouring through. It's definitely noisy. I've got more pressure on. I don't feel a pulse or a mist like they talk about. But I'm sure that it's working that way. I'm not choking like I do with the Grossman unit. The water's just going straight up the nostril and out the other side. Uh, feels good. Feels really good. <laughs> Almost went down my throat. 
Um, it's really loud. You don't want to do this at night if you live in an apartment. Uh, it feels really nice though. The water is flushing through, the salt water is flushing through. Uh, <coughs> and I think I've already used up all my water. Wow, that was quick. The switch is kind of hard to turn off. You really have to put pressure on there. And then what you need to do is you put one finger on one nostril on the outside of your nose and blow. You've got to press one finger or else you're going to blow the water through your ears. And then the other thing that I like to do is I like to lean over the bathtub, tilt my head, move it sideways, up and down, and get all the water to drain out so I don't sound nasal. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm back. Okay, I flushed the water through. You don't want to do this in the morning if you're going to be going out because you will sound nasal for a while because the, uh, the salt water is going in your nasal cavity and you can hear I sound like I have a cold, but I really don't. Um, I'm breathing out of both nostrils. I have a deviated septum. Normally I don't breathe out of both, but I'm breathing out of both fairly well. Uh, I will not say anything bad about the Grossman unit because, again, it has been very good to me and I think I'm still going to keep it. I don't know if I'm going to use it. Um, the switch is a little hard to press and to get it to lock in. This is... Okay. I don't know if this is going to stand up. This is... Uh, I don't know if this is going to... If you got to be really careful, if you're not careful, if you put some pressure on here, this will probably crack. I don't know about the durability or how long this is going to last or what the warranty on it is. All I will say is I didn't even read the instructions. I have used the Grossman unit, so the Sine Pulse or pul whatever this thing is, uh, it's a really good unit. I'm happy with it. I'm happy I bought it. Uh, some people complain about the cost. You know, there's never a cost on your health. Better to have good health than to go into the hospital or... Uh, have medical problems where you shell out hundreds of dollars. So spend the money on something that is going to take care of you, clean out your sinuses, clean out your nasal passage, remove the uh, allergens and the dirt that's in there. It does work. I will tell you, I hate using these things. I can't stand using them. But when I do it, I say I've got to because it's just incredible. The next couple days, I will be breathing really well and I'll be very happy. So I recommend it really good product. You just have to learn how to uh, control your breathing so the water doesn't go down your throat or in your lungs and make you choke. Once you figure that out, oh wow, I had that all the way up to the high setting. Um, but it was good. It was really good. I Again, when I use the Grossman, which I still love, uh, usually I choke or I cough and I uh, have some problems with this. I didn't have any problems at all, and this was a first time use, so I recommend this thing. It's an awesome product. A quick update on this unit. Ten minutes after I used it, I am breathing clear out of both nostrils, which never happened with the other unit. I was always plugged up. Ten minutes after using this unit, I do not have water running out of my nostrils or out of my nose and I don't feel like water is stuffed inside my sinus cavities which I always have with the other unit so I am going to rate this uh, sinu pulse as I'm really happy with this thing and I will be using it uh, all the time instead of the other unit which will uh, be uh, discarded now so my review of the sign you pulse awesome unit really works um, well worth the money clears up your sinuses gets rid of all that stuff in there um, not uh, um, the nasal sounding voice is almost gone after about 10 minutes which is unusual there's still uh, water in there. I know there's water in there, but uh, that will drain out over a while. So, yeah, buy this thing if you want to clear your uh, allergy problems up. It will probably help a lot. And uh, good luck with it.